What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. It'll start. What's up, bitches? Jesus. Ow. Yeah, you, yeah I was going to say, what'd you just do right there? Ow. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody clip that Xbox record. <laughs> Xbox record that. What's up, bitches? Um, Welcome back. You're not finna talk to me like that. Uh, you're definitely not calling me a bitch. Just kidding. Uh, welcome, dude. Finally, you're wrapped out. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. How's it feel? Yeah, it feels good. Bittersweet. It feels good. B- bittersweet. Yeah. You've been doing it so long. It's like, it's like, you don't know what to do it yourself now. Like that, you have free time. Yeah, I mean, we don't really have free time. But. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, free time to work more, dude. Yeah, exactly. Free time to, to yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, see? I, I don't know. He doesn't know what to say. He forgot. <laughs> Cody I don't even does know real how to think for, for myself weeks. anymore. Yeah, and he he does real bros for a few weeks and he can't podcast anymore. Yeah. That's what's happened to him. Welcome back, dude. Thanks. So Welcome. we wrapped out. Real Bros Season 3 is wrapped. Mm. And so it's coming out. Um, you know, I probably can't say, but... Um, in the in the winter, so <laughs> you all motherfuckers better watch it because it's a the season is gonna be crazy, and a lot of uh, um, real fun zany shit happens. Yeah, and so uh, no, it was a really good time, really really fun, honestly, really fun. A lot of mm, I'm, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Yeah, I'll leave it alone. Okay, I'll leave it alone. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it. You keep it a mystery. Yeah, but a lot of good shit is mm-hmm. in there. Mm-hmm. This mm. year, a lot yeah. of good shit. So. Some really good shit in there this year. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh man, they got a crazy guest on that. Shit. Man, <laughs> I got to look. Right, <laughs> insane. Dude. Paul Shear again, again. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, but there's someone just a little way below him that mm. is pretty interesting. I mm. think. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, yeah. I'll keep an eye out for that too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it. No one. They didn't say anyone that kind really? of struck. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I could have sworn. Anyways, man, um, yeah. We have, one of the funny things is we have to we have to reshoot the intro because Nick oh, lost the... Nick lost so much weight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he looks like completely different. So I, I re- and I'm like, I think I gained 10, 15 pounds. So this this honestly makes sense for us to do this. I rewatched season two. Yeah, um, just going into it. it, it's so weird rewatching a show because like parts of it I'm like I don't remember this at all and then other parts I'm like oh yeah I'm fucking like yeah. how could I forget this yeah yeah and I was looking at Nick and I'm like Jesus dude he looks <laughs> so different now he looks different dude yeah. You're way better now yeah yeah, yeah. he looks great now <laughs> yeah, he looks great no but it's like it's night and day like yeah. you could stand both Nicks next to each other and yeah. you would think they were two different people oh yeah <laughs> he lost like a whole person yeah. out of his body yeah yeah and a little bit went to me yeah you think he and then and then Getter got like like all new with like five hundred new tattoos yeah. on his neck. Yeah, since the last season. Yeah, so now it's like we got to reshoot it. I was thinking I should get just tatted the fuck up. Yeah, just yeah. for fun. Just fuck it. What would you get? I don't know. I just sleeve my entire body. Sleeve your entire body. Yeah, just you like, wear a body sleeve. Yeah, body sleeve. <laughs> One continuous tattoo from the neck down all the way to my ankles. <laughs> One whole thing. Yeah, I'm thinking of like getting those tattoos where it's just black. Yeah. You know? You just to cover just up. Just inked. Yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. Just solid. Cover up all your ex girlfriends and stuff. What do you mean? Well, mom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that's out of respect for my mom. She's a saint. Okay, sorry. Sorry. I'm getting another one on my arm soon. Yeah? In like a week or two. What? I think I'm going to get another skull, honestly. Yeah? Skull just, and crossbones. Just. <laughs> God damn it, dude. It's like the only thing I want. When I look, see, look at tattoos, I'm like, this is... You are a walking sticker pack. I, <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, God damn it. I, you know what? I, my my theory for getting tattoos is if you can walk in and find it on a Claire's yeah. sticker rack, yeah. it's then a it's something that I would get. Yeah. No, I'm not saying it's a good tattoo. I'm saying it's something that I would get. <laughs> you just fucking... It's kind of funny. Like you like It's like number three choice. Like, in the, like you open up the book, it's like page one, they got the peace sign, and you're like, ooh. I would get a fucking peace sign, yeah. probably, I would. <laughs> the dude at the counter's like, come on, man. <laughs> you're like, I don't, come on. That's pretty, and he's like, 
come on, this. Let me draw you something up right now. Let me draw you something brand new. And you're like, yeah, I don't know, dude. Why mess with the classic? Yeah. You know, <laughs> why? <laughs> Don't if it ain't broken, <laughs> don't, fix, don't it. fix it. I'm definitely getting dice at one point. Yeah. I am. I'm for sure. No, seriously, I'm gonna get dice. I mean, that's like the my favorite one that I haven't gotten yet. You should get one on each nutsack. Okay. No? Yeah. For why? You know, just when they're when when the lady goes down and tell yeah. her to roll the dice. Yeah, roll the dice. Yeah, yeah. you pop it. Once you give that a, <laughs> you give that a little, little chuck right there. Put those in your Make hands. Sure. Mix them up good. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh, shit. What fucking... I'm going to get a stress ball tattered on my on my ball. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm going to get Bozo uh, the Clown tattooed on my dick. Yeah. Like the one that you punch and it like comes back. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Get that all the way up to the head yeah, of my dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then get a little wig on the top. Yeah. To fucking... Yeah. You see that Twitter video of that dude pissing lighter fluid? No. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll watch that later. Yeah, sure. We'll what bring is, that up later. What is that? Actually, I don't know. That might have to be bonus episode content because it's straight up a dude, like like he's got a flame in front of his penis okay. and it's like like flames like shooting out of his dick. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's insane. Pissing fire? It looks like, yeah, it looks like he's pissing fire, yeah. That's fucking sick. It's hard as hell. It's hard as hell. Yeah. It's the worst case of gonorrhea ever <laughs> recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Some dude literally pissing flames. <laughs> <laughs> man bro i i know oh, man i was on a good sleep schedule and i fucked it up because i started succession and and yeah and yeah, it's pretty goddamn fire pretty goddamn fire. what did i tell you insane dude for at first the zo- like the office style zooming was like sort of comedic there's some weird um, oh, dude, Reese is calling you. Oh, that's uh, he did the did the score for Suki. That's oh, the yeah. that's the boy up? right there. What's up, Reese? <laughs> anyway, what were you about What's to say? What's up, Reese? Um, what the fuck was? Oh yeah, I think it's the second episode. Uh-huh. It's directed super weird, it, like totally unlike any of the other ones. Um, what what part of it? Because when they're in I, the car, there's a there's a part like near the start of the episode where they're in the limo. Uh huh. And it's a lot of really weird, like, fast office style zooms. And I'm like, this totally does not fit the vibe. Yeah. <laughs> and I think they changed it after. Because oh, it doesn't they? really happen I mean, they, they definitely, later in the season, does they, it? They definitely hit the zooms. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, I, I know. I, I like the way it's shot. I like the texture of the film. Mm-hmm. Or the film, the 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 show mm-hmm. feels good. Yeah. Also, like, yeah, each character is just a fucking asshole. Yeah. So the... I hate how spot on Kendall is as like a fucking like like sackless like academic. Yeah. He is like that guy. How like, far are you through the season? Like the third episode. Okay. Yeah. And like all his like I mean he's like kind of starting to get a pair of nuts. But like all his insults are like thus far like really lame and like you just cringe or like, oh you fucking pussy. Yeah. Like he just he just makes me want to strangle him. Just wait, man. His fucking arc is crazy it's I'm, like development through the season it's like I, he's got the craziest story for sure i mean i can only imagine given that in his first day as a ceo he told that bank the the head of that bank fuck off <laughs> like he just thought that was a good move yeah he's like fuck off man yeah, he's like test he's like <laughs> dipping his toes into yeah. the into the asshole pool you know <laughs> let's see what it's like to be a little asshole and then it just totally backfires. I don't I lo- know. That's great. <laughs> I love when he talks shit to people and like he always has like that moment of doubt afterward. Yeah. Like fucking <laughs> that guy. Is a- I'm going to lock you in a little cage and stuff you full of money. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to fuck he you. He treats that guy like shit though. I'm sure eventually he does. No, I'm saying like in that episode, I was, I was kind of like, damn. Yeah, no. He, he no. kind of goes fucking yeah. head to head with yeah, that dude. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, when he calls him like in the middle of the night and just like lays into him, that that was really good. I He's, want... That guy's supposed to be, I think it's supposed to be BuzzFeed, that company. Oh, Volter. Okay. okay. You're talking about the Asian guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that company's supposed to be Vol- or supposed to be BuzzFeed. Got it. And you'll see some funny shit happens okay. happens with them, but I think that's that's supposed to be the, com- the, the, the comparison. comparison. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Yeah, Anyways, no, good show. Watch the show. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um pretty pretty solid. Yeah. Really what, into it. What else has been going on? Um put political stuff. <clears throat> um what else? We got a uh, Trump impeachment? Yeah, I mean, I'm not even like okay. So there was 
I'm going to fuck this all up. So I'm going to tread very lightly on this because mm-hmm. I'm not uh, super educated on this. So now that I've qualified everything, I think that we should fucking impeach now. Um, <laughs> so apparently there was a transcript or there is a transcript to be leaked, whatever. There, there is some confirmation about Trump discussing uh, things that are conflict of interest, I guess, as a president with the president of Ukraine or something. Mm-hmm. That's the most I'm going to say, I think. That yeah, we're just, let's not even fucking get into it. The- it's just, the, the bottom line is that they're, they're um, the House, uh, no Republicans voted. So it was like a landslide Democratic vote that they're going to, um, I guess, entertain the inquiry of an impeachment. Mm-hmm. But, that's you know that said impeachment i think people get twisted with like if you're impeached you're removed and it's like no you can get impeached but then the senate has to remove you mm. and the senate is predominantly republican so mm. he's not going to get removed same thing happened with the bill mm-hmm. everyone all, like i feel like people throw around that bill got impeached meaning like he got removed he got impeached but it's to my understanding he was never removed yeah. so he still completed his term and he was still a like, president mm-hmm. um so I I guess in in my mind, it's like, yeah, and 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 from what I've read, like sort of Democratic people or voters are like, yeah, well, I it I guess it's like a consolation prize. Like if you were to be impeached for them, it's like woohoo. Yeah. But it's probably likely not. Like he's still gonna finish out his term. So see, this is I get all my you know I get all my political info from Twitter. Yeah, you know, which is the best place to get that sort uh-huh. of news. For example, uh-huh. yesterday the the you know. The trending hashtags were one of them was um, Trump impeachment party. Yeah. And then the other one that was trending was Trump 2020 lands- landslide victory. Yeah. I was like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> There's no one in the middle that's just like, well, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> let's see. You know, I, I see the Ukraine call. Maybe, maybe it could be bad, but maybe they're right. You know, it's just like, <laughs> it's either like fucking Trump. Get him out, kill him. Yeah, or or, it's, or he's the man. Yeah, or it's fucking he's gonna win by a landslide, and you, yeah, yeah, stupid, yeah, you know, lib 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 tards. Yeah, get on, dude. Yeah, um, yeah. There's a lot, of, yeah, a lot of political stuff. Justin Trudeau. We don't even get into that. Um, <laughs> moving on, <laughs> <laughs> moving on of that moron. I um, follow, dude. When we followed the the barstool <laughs> the Telegram group, you did that. That was the day that we made the TMG one because okay. I followed the Barstool one. Uh huh. So it's like all the so Telegram has like these channels. Telegram is like the messaging app, right? Yeah. There's all these channels that you can like follow now. It's like essentially just like a private Twitter channel. Yeah. Where you can't see like replies and likes, but you can see how many people viewed something. Mm-hmm. So now Barstool is putting all the videos that they can't put on Instagram in there, and it's just all of their shit on steroids. <laughs> it's fucking nuts, dude. Every day they drop like five, six videos and every single one I watch and go, oh! <laughs> That's the sound I make. I don't even... Oh! <laughs> I don't even want to And know. it's... it's t- but that... The only thing I saw was... Um, beer being poured down three girls' ass cracks stacked on top of each other and a dude <laughs> yeah. drinking it at the bottom. <laughs> In, and in, it's always like, it's something about pink eye yeah, all the time. Yeah. yeah. In no universe. In no universe. Let's see. Hold on. You about to, you about to just I'm do gonna, free promo? Let me just pull one up right now and just see. I can't even. I can't even fuck with it. <laughs> this what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> this okay. girl crushes a, a beer can with her fucking boob. Yeah. Gigantic boob. You got to have an iron tit to do that. Yeah. Do you think she does? Dare, dare I say it. She got... She got, she got robot tits? She got can crushers. <laughs> nice. Dare I say it. Uh, yeah. Um, just speaking of robots, uh, the Boston Dynamics uh, little dog robot, that shit is out and about on its own. What do you mean? In the public. I didn't read the, I didn't read the article completely, but... Hold on. Can, you, can I show you this one first? Oh, okay. What in the fuck is this? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. That's the sound. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> Look at this one. Did you see this one? This is all shit we can't show. Did you see this one? No. What the fuck is this, dude? I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. God, the fuck? Someone was like, I wonder if his arms are okay. I'm like, I wonder if his whole fucking head's, <laughs> head's all, right. all right. What the fuck came out of that? Was it a potato gun? What the fuck was that? I don't know. It was like a giant firework. Dude. He put it in the wrong way, I think, so it exploded like down. <laughs> Dude, all right. So that guy is fucking, he's in like, um, you know, fellas, when you, ladies, when you, you get in the gym and you get like, um, like you're doing like cable pulls and like you get on your knees. And like you got like the fucking, like the, the split rope above yeah. your head, and you pull it down to the floor. <laughs> like that's the position he's in. He's yeah. like like fetal, <laughs> holding this tube in front of him, and it launches something out of it down. <laughs> yeah. Well, it goes up, and then you <laughs> no, I think the smoke goes up, right? Like it's a firework, but I think he put it in the wrong way. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever the fuck. I think. I I who knows or something. I don't know. It just goes in the air, and then that guy goes. <laughs> and then this shit just launches straight down onto this guy's fucking head. It just goes, poof, and that's it. And it just cuts. It cuts before the flash even <laughs> I, really goes I, off. <laughs> I hate that. Yeah. When what about it, those videos when it just cuts and you're like, oh, I mean, <laughs> I think they do what? that on purpose. Do you think so? Yeah. Because then it's like it feels weird as a as a viewer. I mean, I guess if he, because you're like maybe something really serious happened. That's why yeah. they cut it off. Yeah. Well, then why am I laughing at this video of some <laughs> dude fucking dying? The other one was was a girl on a on a rope that you know like a what, what do they call it when you go to the river and you like grab one of those ropes and you jump off. You kind of yeah. Know, isn't there a name? A rope swing. Yeah. Rope. I guess yeah. Rope yeah. swing. I don't know what the fuck that was. She's standing on concrete. What was that even attached <laughs> I to? I don't know. Half those videos, I'm like, what? How do you even get in this position? Yeah, that looked like a hill. Like, that looked like she was standing on Stonehenge and, like, just like a hill in Scotland and just fucking <laughs> ate shit. Like, what was the goal? For her to swing I don't know. There back? Was, yeah, I don't know. There's no and water. Land on the back other. on the fucking <laughs> takeoff point? There was no water on the other side. So I don't know where the fuck <laughs> she was going. That was crazy. And she, like, slips off and just, oh, on the fucking ground. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm laughing because oh my god, dude! It's simultaneous, dude. Instant. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck. I get spam calls all day long, dude. You should answer one, dude. Yeah, we should make that a segment of the podcast. Answering the spam calls. That one I've actually so that call I by that number I've been receiving since since 2008. Uh huh. When I first got this phone number. Yeah. And it, uh, it's basically a like school, like a high school or like a middle school or something that uh -huh. has my number for some reason. Okay. And calls me to tell me that their kids are like not in school or some shit like that. And I've just, oh. and I've just gotten that call forever. Oh, so that kid's ditching and nothing's happening to Nothing's him. happening. He's just getting away scot free. That's Since awesome. 2008. That's sick. Yeah. Good, good for, for him. him. Yeah. yeah that's why him. I've never like, you know, told them about it. <laughs> He's still yeah, he's I'm, been gonna, I'm gonna let this kid play hooky. He's been in high school since 2008. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably because he keeps skipping class. <laughs> I mean, I, I I got some juicy little morsels. Yeah, yeah, juicy little morsels. Yeah, we got some good. We got some good shit today. Yeah, we got a man. I, I do want to watch that TikTok at some point that I sent. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I got a. I got. I mean, per usual, you know. Um, not that I'm on Reddit, but. I, I've read a relationship advice headline that we we don't have to get in the whole thing. I just need to read the title of the post because I just, my fucking eyes widen so hard. <laughs> my 38-year-old female, dad, 59-year-old male, dates younger women and even had a serious relationship with my best friend, female 34. But this time he's crossed the line. He's seeing my stepsister. Who was 39. What? <laughs> Do what? First of all, I don't care how old and how eligible consent. You're not dating my best friend. <laughs> As my parent, you're not fucking my best friend. I was about to say, this dad might, this dad must got like some swag or something. You think he's a sexy ass dad? I don't know. I mean, if these <laughs> uh, because these girls know that this is wrong too, right? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that stepsister is also dating her stepsister's dad. That's true. Isn't that fucking weird for her too? Yeah. Isn't it weird to date your best friend's dad? Yeah, that's pretty fucking weird. 
I guess it's like. But maybe he's just like a, you know, like a Brad Pitt looking dude. <laughs> just the hottest fucking dad ever. <laughs> I don't know. He just. That's my dad. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> No, it's it's messed up of the dad. Yeah. To do that shit. Yeah, I'm sure he feels really bad. But I'm just saying, how is he pulling that off? <laughs> oh, this is stop, horrible. Stop. Dude. <laughs> this is so bad. Just stop making that sound, dude. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. The bar's still uh. Yeah. Oh. The bar's still uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's more. It's more of like a disappointment. Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Oh, like disgusted, but like a little bit funny. The bar still. Uh, ugh, ugh. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck all this. What? I had to, how did I forget this? The fucking reviews you guys left. On the podcast? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was hysterical. Okay. All right. So last I episode. was hysterical. Last episode, I, uh, you know, I, I inquired <laughs> for our <laughs> listeners to leave us a couple reviews on iTunes. You know, pump that number up a little bit. Yeah. Because there's something like we have like 17,000 now or something like that. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to look this up. Um. We have um, we 17,000 really reviews. What's up? What? No, I thought there was going to be a longer pause, so I was being the dad again. No, no, no. Oh, 17,000. Seven, <laughs> little queef. Ew, ew. Um, and, and so here, I'm going to read. My, my daughter's best friend would queef all the time. Oh, stop, dude. Ugh. No room for air Ugh. in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I got it. Did you see my relationship advice one that I sent? <laughs> no, yeah, but I'm forgetting it. Now. I want to read that one after, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say, let me read some of these reviews first. Okay. Dude, these two in succession fix each other. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I was crying. <laughs> Just scroll down the page. Dude. Like they're all like that now. I was hysterical, man. All oh right. This God. one's from Emily Rose 2323. <laughs> she says the title is Best for Computer Science Majors. And the review says, I love it when they talked about the importance of 7,400 quad NAND gate chips and how they're <laughs> superior to other types of chips in computer architecture. I've learned so much about computer architecture from them. My professor lets me teach the class now. Must listen. <laughs> the next one is, love how knowledgeable they are on dot, dot, dot. <laughs> the review says, these guys can funny occasionally, but really it's just so informative. I've learned so much about how to pour cement <laughs> and lay cement <laughs> tiles. <laughs> and they've really helped me turn my life around. And the next one says 10 out of 10. And then the review says 11 out of 10. <laughs> Or cement. <laughs> just cement and computer science. So fucking opposite. You think someone that's like random is like, oh, I wonder what this podcast is what? about. Let me check out let me check out the reviews. He's just see what the people are saying. Construction worker playing this on the way home yeah. with his fucking six pack and he's like, <laughs> oh, so they were gonna talk about concrete or if I've been if I've been duped. <laughs> Here's one. I love when they rate and compare all the vacuum choices out there. It's refreshing to hear two people as <laughs> You are as passionate and informed about the types <laughs> and construct of such fine machinery. I don't like boobs. I don't like boobs. Just at the end, I don't like boobs. Uh, God damn. Uh, God damn it, dude. Oh, uh, that's good. That's fucking good. All right, here. You know what else I want to play real quick? Yeah. Can you grab your computer? Um... No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, I no, can't. yeah, no, that's not coming. Yeah, it's not I thought moving. the force would do it, but that's not doing it. Did you ever try that as a kid? No, no that's outward. Yeah, Shouldn't that's be outward. doing that because yeah, that's going to yeah, blast it, it further it away. In, yeah. yeah. Yeah, pull it in. Yeah. There you go. No, it's, no, not, it's working. not working. <laughs> shit. Did you ever do that as a kid, though? What? Try to move shit with your mind? Yeah. Just oh, yeah, like, all the yeah, time. Yeah. The, yeah. Ah! <laughs> no. Didn't work. I want to play the jingles. No, 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 dude. That's bo that's bone exclusive. No, it's not. Yeah, that's bone exclusive. No, it's not, that dude. Is. No, dude. That's that's bone exclusive. That is why because there's real ads on the, on this fucking show. It's bone exclusive. All right, fine. It's that's, bone. I'm pissed, and I know they're pissed right now. So, <laughs> hey, man, I'm, I'm just saying. As the as the EP, I'm making the call. 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm making the call. What um here, so here, let me read this one. Yeah. Okay, this is a relationship advice one. I got you hooked on this. I'm proud, man. Yeah, I mean, someone somebody actually DM'd this to me. And I thought it was really funny. You fucking you hack. My 29 female husband, 31 male, has become obsessed with taking over his dad's company since watching Succession on HBO. <laughs> My husband and I were late to the party when it came to Succession on HBO. We finally binged watched the entire first season and all the current season two episodes. Great show, by the way. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Great show. As a side note, my FIL father in law father in law owns a Halloween party type store, and it's not even his main hustle, but he's always been really into Halloween. <laughs> Sick. Sick. My husband has become increasingly obsessed with unseating his father from the Halloween store. And I think it has something to do with succession. <laughs> that is so funny. He told me after we watched season one that he was troubled that his father hasn't named a successor successor for the Halloween store. I thought he was joking. Motherfucker. A few days later, he posed this question directly to his dad, who said nonchalantly that his sister, 27, would most likely take over because she lives nearby and doesn't already work full time. But he obviously thought the question was odd because he's 56 and not really close to being unfit to run a Halloween seasonal store. <laughs> <laughs> then, my husband, then my husband started trying to find evidence that his dad was no longer fit to run the store he told me he had a meeting with the store shareholders but later i found out he had just accosted two teenage boys who had checked dude what hbo store. writer is pitching this fucking show fuck out of here this is so <laughs> unbelievably on, fake dude it's why can't you just believe this shit it's funnier i don't know man i'm, I'm being a wet blanket i'm sorry it's definitely funny a cost yet two teenage young boys <laughs> all right two my, teenage boys who, who had checked into his store on facebook and informed them informed them that the store clearly needed new management <laughs> he also asked me if i could <laughs> But I would consider consulting for the store part time remotely as a way to unravel things from the inside. Oh my <laughs> god, dude! I mean, yeah, it's definitely fake, but it's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> that's that's. I can't wait till that show comes out in five years. Um, what are they gonna call it? What's gonna be the play? Oh, this gets weird as fuck. Holy shit! Uh oh, now he's drawn in. Go ahead. Then the sexual stuff got weird. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is a Showtime show. Got I'm not. It. I'm not a stranger to kinks, but he's now asking me to blow him and spit his load into his mouth. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Which is fine, but again, this is from Succession. <laughs> all right. Imagine just ever modeling your life around Succession. <laughs> just, you, just, just everything you Kendall do. Kendall Roy, you want to be him? Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. wake up the next day. Just. Yeah. Honey, I'm going to the work now. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. <laughs> Tiny little bird baby, I'll tie you up and stuff you full of cash. I'll make you my tiny cash pussy pay pig. All right. Love you too, hon. Have a good day. Fuck off. <laughs> that's, the, that's the most said thing on the show. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Here, here's one. Here's a fun little. So um, you're this app, TikTok. No, never been on it. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a place to post videos. So it's uh-huh. kind of like YouTube, mm-hmm. apparently, but okay. it's only, um, you can only do um, a minute, uh. which I don't understand because you'd want to watch a full video, <laughs> right? You know, if yeah. I if I wanted to post, say, you know, um, my traffic stops, mm-hmm. I need more than a minute. Mm-hmm. I like to post my traffic stops to Facebook, okay? You know, because I read that. Um, uh, you know, the police, they can't really be doing the things that they're doing. Mm-hmm. So I'm leaving evidence online um, so that, you know, I'm doing my part. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> it's like, oh, where are you <laughs> just, going Just being this? a boomer. No, for <laughs> real. Um, TikTok, kids and people are busting open pregnancy tests uh-huh. because there's a pill in there. So, so people bust it open and they're like, oh, it's plan B. It's inside the, oh, it's plan B. Oh my God, they put a plan B inside the pregnancy test. That's so fucked up. Whatever. It's a fucking, like, uh, it's like an anti, like, moisture pill. Hold on. Let me, God damn it. What? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's included to absorb moisture. So I get, so like the, like the actual, like, chip in there doesn't, like, get, you know, cause okay. maybe because people like, maybe there's a tendency to leave like those types of things in like a bathroom or something like that. Yeah. 
So the pill is in there to absorb moisture so that like... Yeah, I, I, yeah, I yeah, get yeah. it. But what... So what's the, so, what's the so, outcome of this? Are they taking so, the pill? So that's what they're like. The PSA is like, do not fucking take that pill. Because tons of kids are busting them open on TikTok and being like, there's a fucking, oh my God, oh my God. And you got adults doing it. That's the saddest shit that I've seen. It's like adults trying to get clicks. And they're like, <laughs> yo, what up, TikTokers? Uh, me and Bill here, we're going to crack open a pregnancy test. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you're, if you're an adult and your first reaction to that is, isn't fucking kids are so stupid? <laughs> what are you doing? And your first reaction instead is, oh, yo, if the if this is working for them, it's gonna work for me. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you gotta you gotta fucking you go. Might... You gotta buy a you gotta buy a um an in an indoor motor or an indoor. <laughs> you have to buy a Peloton bike, and and cycle. What? Because that's some adult shit to do. All right. What do you? Buy an indoor bike <laughs> and spin on it. Feel like a fucking adult. That was the most roundabout way <laughs> of saying act your age. <laughs> so like that's what you have to do. If you're taking a a pill from the inside of a pregnancy test to generate fucking <laughs> views on your TikTok channel, you better you gotta go buy, buy a, a Peloton bike. <laughs> And cycle it until you until you're sweating. <laughs> if I ever have kids, that's what I'm going to use when they act immature. Yeah. God, you are 19 years old. How much do you have in the bank right now? I don't know. 1500 bucks. Go buy a Peloton bike. Used? I don't give a fuck. Okay. I want. I better see it in your room by Friday. I don't want to see you spinning on that thing. Pick your favorite program. I don't care. Hills, endurance. <laughs> Flat ground? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I want to see you on that fucking bike. You're going to pedal that thing. And act your fucking age. <laughs> okay. Um, does this mean I'm grounded? <laughs> yes. Yes. Get on that fucking bike. <laughs> Sitting there at Sports Chalet. Hi, uh, can I take the display Peloton? <laughs> oh, nice. You looking to uh, increase your, you know, just spice up the routine? Well, you into working out? Not really. <laughs> why you, why you buying the? Because I'm grounded. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a healthy punishment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what do you mean by that? Grounded? Like you can't? Uh, like you had an injury? You have to stay stationary? What's going on? What do you, what do you mean by grounded? Uh, I just might. <sighs> Sorry, I looked at my phone and I and lost. Yeah, I lost you it. Just, you lost it. I lost it. I can't believe you just said that. Get a Peloton bike. That is so obscure, dude. Well, I mean, like that's that's some shit that adults do, you know. <laughs> get a Peloton. You got You fucking bike on a Peloton bike. <laughs> get it. Get it. Buy that indoor. You don't have to get a Peloton. You know, that's like that. That's a little bit, you know, out of budget <laughs> for like everyone. But like, buy like an indoor cycle and go cycling. You know, go to a spin class. <laughs> yeah. Go to a fucking spin class. If you look, if you're on TikTok thinking about ways that you can you can fucking generate you're older, clicks, older than 22, and you're older than 22, and it's like shock value based shit. Yeah, go to a spin class. <laughs> spin it out. Spin it out. Yeah, I want you to sweat out all your stupid, immature ideas. Yeah. yeah. Speaking. <clears throat> wait, hold speaking, on. Wait, wait, hold on. No, wait. You hold on. What? Okay. Just wait. What? Just real quick. Just, do you imagine? That poor girl, a few weeks later, who <laughs> I was gonna say, a tummy full of cum. Ugh. The bar stool. Ah! The bar stool. Ugh. That's what I'm trying to get out of you for the rest of this episode. Ugh. ugh. Tummy full of cum. Jesus. <laughs> She's just sitting there. She fucking pisses on that thing. <laughs> and then her stupid fucking boyfriend's like, you know, there's a fucking. <laughs> And she's like, you think? And he's like, I mean, she's like, fuck, <laughs> let's do it. And she fucking pops it. And it just fucking like instantly just dries the shit out of her throat. <laughs> this is fucking anti-moisture. But she takes it. She's like, oh my God. <laughs> he's like, whoa. She's just like, he's like, well, babe, that's the pill sucking the cum out of your body. <laughs> It has to kill all the cum and the moisture. <laughs> it has to reduce all the cum and the moisture. 
so all so it all dies. <laughs> Fucking yesterday, we're on set like doing the green screen shit. So I'm just like sitting on a stool, mm-hmm. right? And and I was like practicing my lines or something. And there was some shit about um some shit about like going fast or something. And the makeup chick is like blotting my face. Yeah. And I go, that'll knock the cum out of your balls. <laughs> and she just like looks at me and I'm like, ah, I'm sorry. That's probably the wrong time to say that. She was like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, damn. Um, I just wanted to say real quick, speaking, you know, of 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 kids and Gen Z, TikTok and all that stuff. Oh, here he goes. It's back to school time. It is back to school time. And when you go back to school, you want a clean face, all right? And so I want to thank Proactive MD for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. We're going right into it. Oh, my God, We're going dude. right into it, all right? Oh, dude, fuck. Proactive has helped fight acne for almost 25 years, and now with their next-generation acne-treating system, Proactive MD, you can go back to school feeling your best. <laughs> Proactive MD includes a prescription strength retinoid that goes deep into the pores to help prevent acne. Um, I use the shit in the shower every single day. I do. It's great face wash. Yeah. It makes me feel good. Yeah. yeah. And it cleans my face. <clears throat> and right now for our listeners, we have a back to school offer from Proactive. You can't get anywhere else. With your Proactive MD order, you will also receive for free Proactive's on the go bag, which features their T-zone oil absorber, body acne wipes, and green tea moisturizer, close to a $100 value, plus free shipping with a 60-day money-back guarantee. So don't wait and go to proactive.com slash gang to get this special offer. Again, that's proactive, P-R-O-A-C-T-I-V dot com slash gang to order and make your first day back at school your best day ever. What, did you hear that? What? Did you hear that? (laughs) What is that? This is the most wonderful time of the year. (laughs) Halloween. (laughs) Remember when you were planning your costume as a kid and it was like the most fun that you could have pre Christmas? <laughs> pre Christmas is what I. Oh my God, I can't even say it. I'm going to say it later. What? Um, no, I don't say it. Pre Christmas is what I call my pre cum. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, speaking of pre cum, and now that you're an adult <laughs> on your Peloton bike. <laughs> Halloween feels less Halloweeny, am I right? Well, Me Undies is bringing back the childlike joy of picking out the perfect <laughs> costume with their spooky prints and Halloween costume onesies. That's right, costumes, onesies, boo. Mm. Onesies is the most fun you can have pre-Christmas. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's a great carriage for your pre-Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> we we wear Me Undies. Uh, I'm wearing them right fucking now. I'm wearing yeah. the Valentine's Day a dish, a dish. Are they stained with your pre-Christmas. And I got a bunch of pre-Christmas in there. <laughs> I leave pre-Christmas in my meundies all the time, and they get 15 percent off your first pair to leave a little bit of your pre-Christmas in it uh, for free shipping and 100 percent satisfaction guarantee. Go to meundies.com/tmg. Again, it's 15 percent off your first pair. Go get a onesie. Go get a spooky little. Uh, Spooky little something for your bum and your privates. <laughs> spooky bum? Go yeah, rock. Go, yeah, go get a spooky bum. Go get a spooky bum. <laughs> Meundies.com slash TMG. <laughs> Listen, guys. We all know that nobody has time to go to the post office. Absolutely am I right? Absolutely not. It's a real hassle. It's it an is. absolute hassle. You got to get in your car. You got to drive all the way to the post office and then you got to walk in. And it's just a it's just a hassle, you know. You don't know where they are. You got to Google Map it. It's just a hassle. That's why you need Stamps.com, one of the most popular time saving stool, tools for small businesses <laughs> ever. <laughs> time saving tools. <laughs> Stamps.com eliminates trips to the post office and saves you money with discounts that you can't even get at the post office. That's right. We used it when we were sending out our posters. And it was a lifesaver. It really wasn't make it made everything so easy. As soon it as did. we found stamps.com, yeah. our, all of our problem all of our postage problems were solved. Bam. Um uh you can see, you can use your computer to to print official US postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. Mm-hmm. And right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in TMG. That's stamps.com. Click on the microphone. Enter TMG. Well, guys, Cody so nicely just rolled into the ad, so we're back. Um, 
I just want to experiment with that. That's fine. Um, it was that, more fun. Was it not more fun? That was definitely more fun. It was more fun. Listen, like you know, I'm I'm trying to make this. I'm, I want to make that part entertaining. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel because it can be entertaining. No, it can. Well, I think I feel like everyone should know on the Patreon right now. We just heard the pre come is pre Christmas <laughs> in an, in the ad. Yeah, and that is just. Does yeah, baby want a little bit of my pre Christmas? <laughs> Ooh, is that pre-Christmas? Ooh. Oh, wait, here comes the eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my cock is full of pre-Christmas right now. <laughs> Bro, grab that computer. Let's get multimedia on these, on right, these bitches. Right as I talk about fucking cum, you're like, yo, get that fucking computer, dude. Let's watch some porn. Fucking porn together, dude. <laughs> grab that shit. Let's get multimedia on these bitches. It's the multimedia guy. On these bitch asses. <clears throat> Are we rolling on that one? Um, I don't know. You want me to check? Yeah. <laughs> Keep them intertwined. Intertwined? I intertwine you guys. Uh, uh, we're not, and there's no intro to set. Um... That's some bullshit. Just bring me the ninja, fellas. Make some noise if you got if you if you rolling around with pre Christmas right now, fellas. Make some noise if you got a little pre Christmas. You know what I'm saying on your way to work. Wait, turn on the screen. Uh, oh, that's ladies, uh, let us know. Ladies, call in now. Let us know how you feel about pre Christmas stained on your uh, underwear. Listen, how do you do the audio? Did um, you, was it with this mic? Yeah, plug it in. Turn on that mic. Yeah. Uh, we got it. Ah, test. No. Little bit of pre. Actually, it'll fine. It's fine. It'll it'll sink. It'll yeah. sink. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> Call now and tell us about your pre-Christmas experience and what how you feel about uh pre-Christmas. Hold on, we got a caller calling in right now. Boop. Jenny, you're on the line. How do you feel about pre-Christmas? Um, I fucking hate pre-Christmas. I think it's disgusting. I don't think we should do it anymore. Wow. Strong opinions there. Let's cut over to uh, Dylan in Indiana. Dylan, Indiana, how do you feel about pre-Christmas? Um, I'm, uh, <clears throat> you know what? I've heard that with pre-Christmas also contains a lot of um, stockings. Semen. <laughs> Sperm. 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 That's what gets girls pregnant, right? Sperm, <laughs> not semen. What's the difference? Same thing. Yes, semen sperm, and sperm and semen. All right. Well, let's let's just go ahead and ruin the search history here. Sperm versus semen. Sperm versus semen. That's um, it's actually a new movie coming out. It's Chan <laughs> Channing Tatum versus uh, Jonah Hill. Twenty five Jump, St Jump Street. Sperm versus semen. <laughs> you just fucking sperm everywhere. Sperm versus semen. Sperm. Fifteen crazy things you should know about sperm. Do you think how crazy do you think these facts are? I love this. This is like we're just hanging out, just using the computer like old times. Remember yeah. you used to like invite your boys over to use the computer. Yeah, hell yeah. Wait. Yeah, well come over. Let's just Google shit. Yeah, <laughs> just be on the internet. Yeah, just let's be on. I legit used to just go on the internet with my boys. Yeah, that's, just yeah. like not even fucking porn, none of that no, shit. Just, just like being just, online, just being online, just yeah. googling shit and just looking at stuff. It's sick. <laughs> it actually is kind of sick. That's fucking, you know. Your dad looks like Neil uh, Lance Armstrong. I'm looking at a picture of him right now. And okay. I'm just, just making Why are you looking realize. at a picture of my dad? No. Lance Armstrong reminds me of your dad. There's a picture of Lance Armstrong right in front of me right now. Why are you looking at a picture of Lance Armstrong? Because I was looking at the 15 crazy things for sperm, and mm -hmm. then I clicked over to see a fact, and it said one testicle is enough, <laughs> and it's showing Lance Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fucking great. <laughs> That's what they should put for like ball, like <clears throat> ball cancer removal. Mm -hmm. Which is a picture of Lance Armstrong. And, and one ball is enough. One ball is enough. <laughs> Open then, up that fucking um, TikTok uh, that I sent to the TMG talking points. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is how would you describe this guy? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't he's, really know. He, he's a he's a special one. <laughs> he's a special one. This is our boy right here. Are we going to get copyrighted for playing this? Whatever. Um, we shouldn't. I've got some shit. People make compilations all the time. Yeah, I know, and they get fucking claimed. Whatever. <clears throat> play it. <laughs> it's, it's too good now. It's to play. so funny. Like, let me show. Wait, hold on. 
Let's let's reset. Let's reset. And I gotta get off. Um. All right, guys. You ready for this? Let's go. This is just. Mm, mm. I've got some shit I gotta get off my <laughs> okay, fucking good. chest, and I don't use Twitter, so you're dealing with it here. <laughs> if you did not start smoking weed out of a fucking apple or a can or a water bottle or some shit you made in your shop class, you're not a <laughs> fucking stoner. Your carts don't make you a stoner, so get the fuck off a of Snapchat with your stickers. I don't get the stickers. Goodbye. <laughs> with your stickers. I think he means like goodbye. Like the stickers on the fucking screen. Like the oh, digital word. ones you can use. Yeah. Wait, what are carts? Cartridges? Yeah. Yeah. Like vape shit? Yeah, yeah, vape cartridges. Man. You're not a fucking stoner. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Like, you just dropped the fucking fattest bomb. You fucking idiot. <laughs> You're not a fucking stoner. Goodbye. <laughs> the goodbye is the best. Goodbye. You're not Dude, a fucking stoner. Who is that fucking heated about kids showing off vape pens on <clears throat> Snapchat? Dude, Tony Mangucci, fucking... man. <laughs> He's pissed. Like, wh like, you feel that passionately <clears throat> about fucking you being a stoner means that much to you? I mean, are we getting got right now? Is this a bit? Did you peep the rest of this man's profile? Oh, see, dude. Can't just take it at face value. Okay, y'all, look. I just found this fucking hamster in the street outside. And I mean, I, he seemed kind of cute. So I got him a cage and I threw him in my backyard. But will someone tell me why my fucking guinea pig is just out here looking nope. like such a prick? This, I keep feeding him watermelon and he's not, not eating bit. it. I mean, like, look, this he bit me like and I know it's because he's new you just, here. You, but he's, yeah, I mean, you just wouldn't really understand because you're not a fucking stoner. <laughs> so get off fucking Snapchat with your stickers. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Later. Goodbye. <laughs> the worst part about that is it like went viral yeah like people were like i agree with this dude yeah dude speaking the truth man dude oh man you said it beautifully dude. said what we were all thinking bro it's like oh my god i mean yeah fucking jesus you ready for this uh i'm a goth boy says i mean yeah cart smokers ain't really stoners but i started smoking out of a pipe yay for gatekeeping i guess lamau <laughs> The gatekeeping on stoning is uh, being a stoner is so good. They should remake Blade Runner twenty forty nine, but instead of like robots and like sub subhuman class citizens, it should just be stoners and cart smokers. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, cart smoker. Get back in line, bro. Is that a term, cart smoker? Like, is that <laughs> a commonly used term? I don't know. Let's Google it. Yeah, me and the boys smoking carts. No. Cart smoker, 108 inches. Uh, it's, it's like a literal type of smoker. <laughs> 84 inch cart smoker. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it's slang, dude. Let me go. Let me go. You're not, stoner. You're not a fucking stoner. You're not a fucking stoner. Listen, bro. If you never, what's some stupid ass shit that you used to do to smoke weed? Like you um, ever, you ever bake it? <clears throat> you ever bake it on like a cracker with peanut butter? You ever do that? No. So it's like. I was the never easiest, that dumb. The easiest, no, no, it's like the easiest sure. way to make fucking edibles. Okay. If you don't have like shit to make brownies or whatever, you take the like a saltine, yeah, and you spread peanut butter on, peanut butter on it, yeah, and then you just sprinkle weed on top and you bake them and like the oil from the peanut butter or some Got shit, it. yeah, like bakes in the THC bakes inside or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> I made those a couple times. I remember. If, um, you've, if you've never done that, you're not a fucking stoner. You've never fucking. Oh, dude, yeah, that that's what everyone should be talking about. All the horrible stupid ways to get high yeah this fool is upset because people don't have to do dumb ass shit to get high anymore yeah <laughs> he's just mad that's what it is yeah it's kind of like some boomer shit a little bit a little bit yeah millennial boomer it's kind of millennial boomer shit that's a thing dude millennial boomer is there needs to be a term for that yeah my boomer yeah <laughs> that's that's me talking about the peloton yeah, bike yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my boomer <laughs> my boomer that's millennial boomer shit <laughs> millennial boomer are like are like facebook people that's all they are like I feel like that's the best way to describe them. Yeah, sort of. Like they kind. No, they, it's kind of TikTok people now. Yeah, they're bleeding over. I'm just saying, like that. That's where I feel like that's where they spawn from. Yeah, is they're like Facebook people. Yeah, you know, or like, or like uh, grown men tweeting shit and then like adding hashtags. Mm -hmm. 
Like, like you ever see a grown man tweet something with like three hashtags? Is there in any it? on that? Is it like FYP for you page? Uh, his other ones had that in it. Yeah, it's like, dude, you're not a fucking stoner. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Listen, if you never hashtagged your post a bunch of fucking times, you've never been an Instagrammer. You're not a fucking TikToker. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is millennial boomer shit to the fullest. Yeah. I want to fucking. I, how, how, how many people, I wonder, probably like no one, or probably a ton. Someone just needs to get on there and just like duet with this fool and be like, like just the most obscure way to smoke weed. If you'd never, like, uh, like it needs to be like an 80 year old man who's like, if you've never smoked shake weed that has literal twigs in it and you had to pull out the fucking twigs and dust it with miracle Grow for like a week, you are not a fucking stoner. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> If you've never laced your weed with pre-Christmas because your tongue was too dry from all the weed you were smoking, you got cotton mouth, so you can't actually roll a joint and you need your pre-Christmas to seal the joint, then you're not a fucking stoner. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, <laughs> you're not a stoner. Goodbye. Smoking it Evan. It's funny to be like like bloggers and shit like 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 Instagram girls. Like if you've never eaten at Rustic Canyon on Wilshire Boulevard, you are not a foodie. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> if you've never driven a Honda Civic with the third gear pop out and your fifth gear kind of shredding because you fucked with the final drive in your boy's garage and now you fucked up the whole transmission and you have to wait six months to buy a whole new transmission, you're not a fucking ricer. <laughs> Goodbye. If you've never <laughs> waited in line at a Sephora for that new drop, you are not a beauty guru. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> if you've never cut the springs on your Honda Civic to make it lower so you can look fly as fuck in high school you're not a real Honda head <laughs> goodbye <laughs> oh my god that's fucking awesome if you've never eaten pussy with your ass in the air, you don't really eat pussy. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> what? Eat pussy with your ass in the air? Yeah, like when you're both on the bed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah, you gotta really, you gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah pop the, you gotta pop your cake in the Yeah, no, nah, I never, I always make sure if, if, if I start to even get into that position, I'm like, no, 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 like oh, I break. Bro, I'll do it all day, I'll do a handstand. <laughs> a handstand? I'll do a handstand in that pussy. <laughs> Do a handstand in that pussy, yeah. <laughs> it's not very ergonomic, dude. Yeah. 69. Who gives a fuck about ergonomics? Er dude, 69. When you're fucking. Who gives a shit? Um, you gotta fu <laughs> If you care <laughs> about ergonomics, ergonomics while you're eating fucking, pussy, you're a virgin. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. 69 is the most ergonomic way to eat pussy. It's the most ergonomic. That's such a great out of context clip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sixty nine. Nah, man. Sixty nine is the most ergonomic, ergonomic way to eat pussy. It straight is straight up. It is. You know, yeah, or it is. or yeah, it is. edge of the bed, and like you're on your knees, like you're like you're reading the Bible. Yeah. You know, like prayer, like you you know you got your hands on the thighs yep, and yep. You know, one hand. Yeah. You know, I won't be graphic, but I like to pick. You know, I'm standing, right? Pick her up, just put her <laughs> on your like, shoulders. You know, it's like Coachella, but backwards. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's actually what they call it's it. Like she's looking at you know the backwards You're not watching Kygo. Yeah, <laughs> you're no, not today. I'm just holding her by the ass. Yep, holding her by the ass and just, bro. I have to, I have to bring this up. So, I'm with, I'm with my my comedy OG. He brings me to a comedy club called the J Spot. Um, it's in Inglewood, or is it Inglewood? I I forget exactly. 
whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure it's Englewood. And, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty hood comedy spot. And, it, you know, a lot of funny comics, a lot of fucking, uh, just, I don't know. It's a good night. I'm like, I'm crying, laughing, you know, hell of funny comics on stage. And then, um, uh, out of nowhere, the DJ's like, uh, whose birthday is it? And they start playing some music. And in the corner, I had seen this dude like yoked as fuck in all denim and he had the sleeves cut off, but I just thought that was like his swag. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, he's just a just a buff ass sleeveless dude. And he gets on stage and I realized he wasn't wearing a shirt underneath the denim vest. He's a male stripper. Oh, okay. This is not it's not uncommon, I guess, at the J spot. For male strippers to <laughs> just like it's like it's like a it's like a bit. Like okay. they just bring out a male stripper or whatever. Oh, okay. You know? Um one of other my, of my other comedy OGs, he actually told me he had to do he had to do a spot at a strip club, but he had to go on in the middle of the show. They brought actual strippers out, and then he had to go on stage after the strippers came out. Wow. So he was like, "I knew it was gonna." <laughs> he's like, "The he's like, I just knew the moment I got out there, I was gonna get booed." <laughs> All these dudes just had titties in their face, and now I gotta yeah, come up there yeah, and be like, "Sucks!" And try to tell jokes <laughs> yeah. that rival. Yeah, yeah. Hey, man, uh, you guys ever been to the DMV? Yeah. Shut the fuck up, man! Bring them titties back out here. You can't tell a joke that's funnier <laughs> than a pair. Than, than is cooler than a pair of tits. Look, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, a pair of titties in your face. No, nah, you don't hear no fucking joke after that. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. There's no joke that. That is as funny as titties are cool. <laughs> oh, those dudes are just fired up with dopamine, half wood. Yeah. <laughs> the dude comes out and he's like, I don't really like jam on my toast. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so this dude comes out on stage and he, it's this girl's birthday. She a big girl, you know, easy to hundo. Okay. Easy. Okay. That motherfucker picks her up, does the reverse, he does the backwards Coachella. He first he picks her up, he lays her on the stage, and he's grinding her. Then he fucking from a squat position reaches under her by her back, and fucking carries her up and puts her like hoists her over his shoulders. (laughs) It was like the smoothest shit. And then he just starts like fake eating her pussy (laughs) while holding her in the air, and she's just like like screaming, and everyone in there is like, oh shit, and then. Uh, this dude Eric Blake he's about to go on stage and he's like these motherfuckers really put this on stage before I'm about to go up he's like <laughs> he's like I'm the headline comic I have to compete with this it was like all women in the audience oh my god it's the same situation like he's gonna go out there yeah and this one just does that whole number yeah. they're like get the f- bring him back out here yeah and he was like joking around started doing push ups and shit he's like I gotta, <laughs> gotta get. did he did he bomb no oh he was okay super he funny it. okay no, there's no way he could bomb, but he's yeah, just kind of like, so what the fuck? Damn. Yeah, but I was more acknowledging, like, when he did that shit, that's, like, one of the few times in my life where I legitimately felt small as, like, I don't, I didn't feel like a man anymore. <laughs> Saying, yeah, like, watching just, some like, shit like, like that I go just down. I felt emasculated yeah. looking at that. I was like, He's like, I, I could never even physically yeah. just, you did that so smooth. Yeah, yeah. That's a great, it's a great, that's a great uh, position, the reverse Coachella. Yeah. That's a, that's a funny, James, that's a funny, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a funny. Uh, I'm not gonna say any more <laughs> yeah, about that because yeah, I'm gonna ruin something that we have coming. But James, if you're listening, that's a funny. We're <laughs> the reverse Coachella. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah, she puts. She has Wait, to put is on. Is Kygo playing? Not today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She has to put on bracelets and everything for the actual. Yeah. In the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for the reverse Coachella. Yeah. Um. <laughs> That should be our next sketch. The ergonomics of eating pussy. <laughs> when eating vagina, you want to be very careful of your C5 and C4 discs. <laughs> Improper positioning could dislodge a disc, and if you're a little bit older, could put you in for some physical therapy. <laughs> <laughs> when eating pussy, we're going to give you the be- most optimal positions to eat pussy from. Lesson one. 69 <laughs> Place your face (laughs) so the tip of your nose is in her asshole. (laughs) Gently tuck your chin and extend your tongue as far as it can go. All right, all right. No? I mean, this this could be animated, too. (laughs) That's true, yeah. yeah. (laughs) That's true. What's that other video you said of the kid in school? What was that one? 
the kid in school. He's sitting watching some like fucking teacher. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know let what I'm me, talking let about? Me, let me, let me, let me play that joint. Let me play that joint. I put it in the thread, right? What? It, also, what is this like? T- this Tinder bio? Um. Oh I'm, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. God damn it! How do I forget all the things I want to talk about? Um. This someone someone DM this to me. They're like, I found this on Twitter or on Tinder, and this is like the most insane. This fucking profile. It's so crazy because most Tinder profiles I've seen, like they're quirky. They, it's like a joke. It's something that's kind of like, yeah, it's got some degree of one liner. or Maybe it's like brutal honesty. This one is honest. Okay. I'm so fucking horny for art hoes. <laughs> I don't know if you know what art <laughs> hoe is, but that just got me instantly. <laughs> I want to fuck a coked out Tumblr hipster, <laughs> DIY aesthetic astrology thought in her lip gloss DSL mouth. Oh my God. Ugh. Barstool, ugh, for that. <laughs> yeah. I want to ravage a girl with thick frame glasses and edge dyed bobcat bangs every time I hear a thick waist hygiene clad choker wearing. Wiccan minx say yikes, <laughs> y'all, or big mood. I think I'll explode. <laughs> <laughs> Wiccan, oh my God. Wiccan <laughs> minx, Wiccan minx, dude. Say big mood. <laughs> That's just or yikes. Or yikes. That's just Spock. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. Spock is a Wiccan minx. Yeah, as demonstrated by this shit right here. <laughs> yeah, all his books, devils, demons, and witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finger an art hoe through her overalls while I pretended to be interested in her talking about Van Gogh and the Arctic monkeys. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Wiccan Minx says, yikes, y'all are big mood. <laughs> y'all are big mood. <laughs> big great. mood right there. That's great. That's a big mood. No, this Twitter video is like a fucking, is a teacher who like just doesn't know <laughs> anything it's crazy it's just a, the, the students are like are like telling her what the, this shit is wild bro this shit was pretty funny honestly yeah uh, um god damn oh, i see i good. see why now that people have uh jamie's because this is like figuring all this shit out while we're talking is is like yeah, can we pull tough. that up yeah can we pull that shit up please we're, we're pulling it up dude we're pulling it up i nailed it yes next week should it, we should have a, a uh we should have like a pull up Infrastructure built, right? Yeah. I'll pull that up. Yeah, we will I'll pull that up. Yeah, pull that up. Infrastructure, we will. Well, hold on. Here we go. Ready? Mexico. This <laughs> is the world. Is Mexico a continent? Put the time out. Oh my this, God. This is the world, right? Yeah. Okay. See each of these large masses. How many do you count? One. Five. Two. Three. Four. Five. five. Right. However, this. What's right? City? Used to be. Oh no! Down here. We're in this What's line. a city? Oh What's my a... God, dude! <laughs> she reaches up. To the, whatever the fuck the North Pole is, yeah. Antarctica. Yeah. I don't give, she's like this. Wait, no, wait. Where is it? <laughs> and go, looks down. Oh, what's the city wait, and wait, what's the county? Sh- what's the city? She's already telling she's you. She's on the bottom. It's not on. Cut the shit, bitch. What's the the, what's the city? Right, so there are six continents. What about Greenland? Are there seven? I thought there it was seven. seven. You're right. Seven. seven. It's seven. Um, <laughs> you're seven. Europe and Asia. Europe and Asia is the continent. Oh, I'm sorry. I was missing Europe. This fool is like, oh, oh you my fucking god, brutal man, brutal being the teacher and have no no idea. I want to be a substitute teacher. Yeah, just for some shit I don't get. Yeah, we'll be, that would be pretty funny. Fucking geometry, algebra yeah. two, whatever. Yeah, like, whatever. Like right now, yeah. I want to be an algebra like algebra two substitute. Yeah, just walk in there and like, <laughs> all right, the the fucking curve. You plot it. You guys know how to find the slope of a of a line. I don't, I don't know. fucking know. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> you ever? All right. If you don't know how to find the slope, oh, you're not a real algebra. You're a, not an algebra. Algebra. Oh, you ready? You ready? If you've never done a problem with an abacus, you are not a real math major. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye now. Uh, goodbye. 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 Yeah, bro. Um, what the fuck else we got going on? Yo, what's up, man? What's up? Oh, I went to Disneyland? Yeah. I went to Disneyland, dude. I was like not looking forward to it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I it's been so long since I've been to Disneyland. I was just like, oh, it's just some 
you know, it's like, a, it's like, I just, I don't think I'm going to have fun. Mm. And then I went there. I had probably the most fun day I've had in for in as long as I can remember. Yeah. Swear to God, I had so much fun. I was having more fun than Kelsey. She would like, you know, she'd be like taking off her goofy hat. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> We're not, day's not over. You can't, <laughs> you can't take that shit off. Yet. Oh God, dude. You're Put turning into on. a Disney boyfriend. <laughs> I was awesome, dude. I was fucking into it. It was, <laughs> I was having so much fun. Uh, I just could not. Alina and I went a few years ago and we got there and we rode like a few rides and we were like, this shit is corny as fuck. Oh, you guys are wet blankets. And we dipped, it's so much fun. We dipped the fuck oh, out. Oh, fuck you. We pieced the fuck out. Yeah, what? To do what? Fuck. <laughs> See, I hate this. I hate like, I hate like pretending that I'm like better than Disney. When I get there, I'm like, I, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fucking just, I'm just going to like relax and try to enjoy it. And it was fucking fun, dude. Star Wars land is cool as shit. It's not that I'm better than Disney. It's that. It's, I, but it's not corny. It's like, it's fucking dope. I, that's the thing, dude. I could not, I just couldn't, I couldn't get into it. Like I didn't, I, I didn't feel like I was in like a the happiest place on earth. I didn't feel like there's anything magic about it. I just like was seeing it for what it was practically. I'm like, all right, just like a goofy, like, I don't know. I just, I couldn't, but that's sad. Is it? Maybe it's I'm, sad. I'm empty inside, man. I'm devoid of, of empathy and, and feelings. And I'm, maybe I'm depressed. Maybe. That's not, that's not good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's not good to be depressed, man. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I had fun. I had a lot of fun. That's all I'm trying to say. No, I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not judging you for having fun. I just, I, me personally, I couldn't. Maybe I'll go back and try again. Maybe I'll feel something this time. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was at a dark place in my life at that point. Yeah, so. exactly. Go back. Yeah. Maybe we'll Get see. Get it. Like, just, it, I don't know. There's a lot of, um, it was just fun, man. I was just fun. Like, I understand. They put a lot of fucking effort into making sure that you have a good time there. Yeah. Like, yeah. there's so much goddamn shit. You know what it is, dude? I, um, I'm too like, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm too Ken, uh, Kendall Roy about the situation. Mm. I started doing the math of like time in line versus fun. Mm -hmm. And because, yeah, but the, didn't you get the fast pass or whatever? Uh, we did, but it was like, we, it was at a point where you had to like go wait for them and then you had to come back and just like a shitload of walking. Yeah, that shit I apparently was, was like kind of hell. Yeah. Now it's all in the app. Yeah. So yeah. And yeah. the app is fucking unbelievable by the way weird little side note yeah whoever whoever wrote that app yeah it's incredible yeah it, it like it had like six hundred thousand five five star reviews and i was like how i was man? like how the fuck yeah it's a disneyland app like yeah and then i started using it i was like this is fucking incredible yeah like i every did everything i wanted it to and more that's great everything and more yeah that's, shit. that's what i'm saying is i don't know i don't know <laughs> now you make me feel like a bitch for liking disney <laughs> no man i'm not trying i'm not trying to you know shame you you know what else is a great app? What? As a man, you know, uh, the real man, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about no Disney app, mm -hmm. but uh, the Home Depot app, mm -hmm. that app, my friend. Smooth as butter. Actually, no, seriously, that app is fucking amazing. Oh, you're being serious. Yeah, because it, it tells you uh, where the fuck the thing is, mm -hmm. like the aisle and bin. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to talk to anyone. That's sick. That's fucking sick. It's, it's, I wish Target and Walmart had that shit. No, absolutely not. They want you to walk around that whole bitch. That's why you walk out. That's why you always walk out of Target yeah, with, that's true. with a fucking pool noodle, true, yeah. headache medicine, yeah. <laughs> and fucking dog food. You don't yeah. have a dog, you know? Nah, yeah, not yet. Not yet, but yeah. Welcome, He's, welcome back to the uh, millennial podcast where we talk about good apps. Good apps, yeah, yeah. That's all the, the best apps that you can download, <laughs> and you know, recommended apps that we recommend personally that we use. <laughs> and I would highly recommend the Disneyland app, even if you're not even going. Just fucking download that shit, cruise around. You know, you said something a second ago about Disneyland. I fucking, I was gonna bring something up. God damn it! Sorry, jog my memory. You had a really fun time in Disneyland. Oh, you know what's disgusting at Disneyland? What? This isn't what, wasn't what I was gonna say, but. The fucking turkey leg. Is it gross? It always looks really good. And then whenever you look at it, you're like, <clears throat> that's just going to be amazing. And you bite into it and you forget that it's like eating a literal bag of salt. It's actually probably the same taste as that pill that's in the fucking, mm -hmm. in the pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. It's like so much salt. You're just like, what the fuck did I just eat? Mm -hmm. It's awful. You know what I love? You know what I love? I didn't have one of those, but I had like a fuck ton of food. Just mm -hmm. like, you know, all different shit. Ice cream. Yeah. Fucking popcorn. Just yeah. 
all, we ate at this, uh, we had beignets at the <sighs> New Orleans themed place or whatever. Word. I love food. I love walking. <laughs> Those are two things you get to do a lot of at Disneyland. And I think that's why I loved it so much. You got to the walk rides around? are just kind of like a bonus. Yeah, I love walking. I walk <laughs> the every rides morning. are a bonus. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. I should walk more. Hey, speaking of walking. What? Your boy is almost allowed to go back to the gym. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm almost there. Nice. Yeah. You going to do it? Of course. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I mark my motherfucking words. Once I'm ready, I'm going to that fucking Muay Thai gym. I'm going to do all the shit that I want to do. And I found out the dude is my physical therapist. He's like, he's been into like mountain biking and like downhill biking for a minute. Uh-huh. So I think I might finally crush a trail. I like, I want to get. On a mountain bike? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're interested in mountain biking? I've always wanted to hit like some crazy downhill. What? Yeah. I'll just get stoned and watch like tons of, sorry, I'm not a stoner. Um, I will smoke as a, <laughs> as a, as a, sorry, as a I'm not stoned. as a cart smoker. <laughs> yeah. I'll consume a little bit of weed. No, I If you've never waited in line for a fast pass and then gone back to the ride, you're you not, not a Disney you know. hoe. <laughs> I can't stand Disneyland bitches. And I'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. I cannot stand that shit. Yeah, and I'll yeah. get back to that shit. Yeah. yeah, no, I'll get I'll get high as hell and just I'll watch like an hour at least of just downhill mountain biking. What? I fucking that shit is so dope to me. You know I used to do it. Yeah? Yeah. Like avid? Yeah, not avidly, but like for for like probably three, four years. Dude, let's go. I had a bike. Let's it was a go. hardtail, but I would like rent full suspension and do like full on downhill in let's in Montana and shit go. like that. Yeah. Let's fucking go. I used to love that shit. I had the fucking you know. I I, was, I used to love it. I was like I was tiny as hell in elementary school, and I was like really into BMX. It was the saddest shit, dude. I was like so short that like. I barely could ride like an adult bike frame. Mm-hmm. Like I remember, like my dad took me to a bike shop, and they were like, "Yeah, we'll, we could put them on a twenty inch. That's the smallest we can go." <laughs> and I remember, like my feet just like barely touching the ground, <laughs> uh-huh. and like being able to ride it was like brutal. And like I would like try to like J hop and stuff, and like just the bike was <laughs> not fucking just was not big enough. Damn. Yeah, I was like really into BMX, and I ate shit really hard off a ramp, and it like it just like spooked me, and mm-hmm. I, I like I left it alone after that. I actually always have wondered like, do I have like CTE from that shit? Oh yeah, because I fucking I nailed the concrete, no helmet, and like With your my, head, yeah, and my head was ringing, and I was like paranoid. I'm like, fuck, I have internal bleeding. I'm gonna die. You don't get it from one. You don't get it from one. What, did you did you have a concussion? I don't know. <laughs> Like, I just remember beefing. Yeah. And then waking up on the street. Like, it, fe- like, I don't know if I was out. I don't okay. know if it just, like, I, like, closed my eyes and opened them. Like, I don't know the time difference. Yeah. But, like, in my memory, I just remember waking up and a bunch of people standing around me. So, I could have been. I don't know. You, you get CTE, though, from, like... M- Is it multiple? Like, oh, yeah. It's, okay, like, concussions right. over time. It's, like... I would prefer that. You don't get it from one. I would prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's not the type of thing where I want to say I have CTE. Yeah, I'm yeah. like. Yeah. It's just something I've genuinely been afraid of. Yeah. I've always looked back at that moment and been like, did I fuck myself really bad? Um, but no, you get CT from like, yeah, from multiple? Like serious That's multiple great. concussions. I'll take that. Like my friend, my friend growing up was like a pretty avid snowboarder <sighs> and he, he got into like, he got like three or four like serious concussions. Yikes. And by the fourth, the doctor was like, you can never snowboard again because Whoa. if this ever happens again. You're donezo? You're donezo. Like big mood, di- brain damage, pretty much. And yikes! Like, yeah, that and that's big. Yeah, big mood. Big mood. Yikes! Yeah, y'all are still snowboarding. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know, you know, you know, if it's an art hoe, not by her clothes, but like how dead she looks in her eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> art hoes the, the, is void of emotion. So in the let eyes. me ask you this: Is the uh, the girl on Euphoria? The glasses one, the one that in the in the beginning has that video sent out of her fucking and then she becomes like a cam girl. Is she an art hoe? Um, I, I, I didn't watch from the beginning, so I don't know her pre cam girl. Oh, okay. I know her as the cam girl. Okay. I mean, she could qualify. Okay. But art hoe in my mind is like dead in the eyes, trying to feel something. Mm. Um. It, it, you could like you could be a dude with like a lot of like moxie like hey what's up then and, and just none of that shit will it's just like mm. okay yeah 
That makes sense. I need something deeper than that. I need something that's going to make me feel something. I need a motherfucking leather jacket to bring over shrooms and some crazy obscure French film. And what's the Venn diagram look like <clears throat> if we're if we're considering um, Disney hoes? Oh, Disney. What does that Venn diagram look like? Disney hoes and art hoes? Yeah. Is there um, a little crossover? <laughs> um, they're both they're both hoes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, they both like animation. Okay. <laughs> Art to some degree. You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. <laughs> but they're not one and the same. Don't <laughs> okay. get them confused. Okay. I cannot stand an adult Disney person. Yeah, okay. Fucking, oh man, oh man. I don't know if that's a thing at every Best Buy, but the Best Buy I worked at, a ton of them <laughs> motherfuckers got Disneyland season passes every year. And yeah. They all go in a group. That shit, I just, I don't know. Something about it made me just like, that like yeah i don't i don't understand the uh season pass stuff i don't understand that i guess you have to go a lot you have to go a lot i mean if to you, make that if you live it. near there got it but yeah i guess that kind of makes sense because then you but it's still like yeah it's still like 25 bucks for parking i just so even if you go to just like get drinks or whatever yeah like yeah. you still gotta fucking walk all the way to the grounds you gotta you right? know you know what that's what it is that's why i think i don't know i agree with you and on top of that, I think I'm realizing now why I don't fuck with Disneyland. I don't understand the emotional investment in any of the characters past the age of nine years old. Yeah, but it's not really the characters that you're that you're into. Is it like supposed to be nostalgia or like something like that? It's not even nostalgic. Is that like there's so much to like look at? <laughs> this is my depression. I have to ask you what you're supposed to feel in yeah, Disneyland. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what do you feel when you go into Disneyland? What is the feeling? Yeah, What what is it? What does what does it feel like? What does it feel like to be in there? Joy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, no, it's not like nostalgia. I got a little nostalgia because I used to go there as a kid. Yeah. But it's more, it's more like just like tons of shit to look at. Okay. It's like sensory overload, you know, like okay. tons of shit that you just like a, it just feels like there's infinite possibilities when you're walking around there. May, okay, so you as my therapist now, and that's how I know I'm depressed for sure. Like even the bit that we did on Instagram. Yeah. Like, that was, like, a thing that you can only do at Disneyland. You know? There's, like, infinite things to do there. Like, fucking... What, what bit? Where we, like, did the straight face. Oh, I didn't like, see that. You, know, you didn't see that? No. It's, like, my most liked Instagram ever now. Oh. <laughs> we, were like, visited the happiest place on Earth, and we were just dead-faced in every single one. <laughs> but it's, like, we're on the roller coaster, like, dead-faced, and, it's like... It's as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> what's, not, what's funny about this is, uh, this is probably just how I looked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, smash that like that's funny yeah but it's just like you know there's i don't know i just feel yeah. like there's infinite possibilities there okay <laughs> disneyland infinite possibilities damn bro you a disney ho then no i'm a disney ho yeah you're a little bit of a disney ho. no i was just legitimately surprised at how much fun i had because i got there and i was like i'm just not looking forward to this and then i was like this is fucking awesome maybe i need to give it another chance yeah 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 go down there and just fucking yeah Spend some money, you know? <laughs> yeah, spend some I spent way too much money there. That's one thing. <laughs> you have to call your fucking you have to call your accountant after you go. Yeah. Hey, I had a lot of fun. What what are we looking at? What are we looking <laughs> what's at? What's the damn what's the damage? What, what, what's the damage? Well, we fucking went to Star Wars Land, which is the new one. Okay. And they're like so all the employees there are in character as like Star Wars people. I'm gonna and say like you the, had fun because you got the most like the most modern version of Disneyland. You know, like with the fast pass, that sounds tight. Not having to wait for that shit. And yeah. this shit you're describing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The Star Wars just generally lends itself to like cool experience. It's like kind of just going to a fucking giant like adult playground for okay. a little bit, you know? <laughs> now nah, you a bitch, homie. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk into the Star Wars land and there's like, there's like, uh, uh, they're selling Coke, but they have like a deal with Star Wars where they, or like with Damn. Coke where they have, where they have, yeah, Word? cocaine, yeah. <laughs> Where they have custom Coke bottles and they're like little orbs with yeah. like these crazy Star Wars like lids on them or whatever. Okay. And I walked up and I was like, how much are one of these? Because I wanted to just like buy one just to fucking have it. Yeah. And she was like, six units. And I was like, you, what is, what? Mm -hmm. Six units? What is that in dollars? And she was like, they're, the, they're in equal currency. And I was like, that's, that's cool. Six fucking dollars for a Coke? <laughs> he just spaz on her? <laughs> That's, I was like, that's funny. I like the little character thing that you did. Six fucking units? You fucking six units for a Coke? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what is this? The, there needs to be more of that in Star Wars in general. 
Yeah, yeah. Just let me speak to the manager, people. <laughs> just like panning through like some fucking Star Wars bar. It's like, dun, 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 like looks really cool. And it's like, oh my God, look at the sound design. There's a guy in like a fucking, like, fucking some crazy, I don't know, styrofoam suit. 17 units. <laughs> 17 units for this fucking thing? <laughs> Unfucking real You know the town I come from I can yeah. get wasted for this fucking is, half this This is Tatooine for you I guess <laughs> God this place is gentrified as fuck <laughs> Everybody ooh Tatooine It's just a bunch of fucking white people Ruining <laughs> the shit <laughs> Unbelievable Ugh Um, And then she looked at Kelsey's like Pin she had a pin on this at happy birthday Yeah And she was like happy origin day oh. and, I was like, and I was like that was good Six units for this <laughs> Hold on, Kelly. Excuse me. Did you say or, orgy day? What's, what's orgy day? <laughs> orgy day. Yeah. What's orgy day? Oh, no, sorry. I said origin. Oh, like, oh, of course. Like a, in the mouth. Oh, ah. <laughs> you're, you're sick. So is it six units for the drink or six units for the origin? What are we talking about here? Um, Is it that time? Yes. Damn. You got to hit the... Full screen. Hit the whole. Hit the whole. Hit the old dusty trail. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Disneyland. Go. It's. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm pissed. We just advertised adult. Disneyland. Fuck Disneyland. No, you know man. what we did was we advertised Disneyland and we advertised Barstool Sports for this whole thing. I mean, no, fuck all that. Join our Telegram feed. What is it again? I don't know. You Team G six. I, I just posted a picture of Ninja in there a few days ago. To Let's see. Keep it's... it active. TMG. We got 470 subscribers. Pretty good. It's t dot t dot me slash tmg sixty nine. If you just go on Safari and do that, it'll take you to Telegram and t dot me slash tmg sixty nine. Oh, here's a funny thing. Uh -oh. Ninja was on the Masked Singer. No way. Yeah, singing or judging? He was singing. <gasps> but here's the thing that I just found out last night. They fucking lip sync. What? Yeah, they're just in the masks dancing around. They don't actually sing. Oh. How fucking network television is that shit? What? Yeah, doesn't that make you mad? <laughs> I thought T Pain won the last one. I thought he was actually singing. He he might have, because he can actually sing. But what do you think the odds are that Ninja? What a what a what a oh 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 that is slimy. And if you could if you could guess the song that he sang, what would you guess? The pom pom song. No second guess. Um. Just think of the most, the most song. Um, hold on. That you could sing right now. Just a friend by Mario. Right now, current day, the most song. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. Um, <laughs> something by MGMT. I don't. What's the most popular song? Call me maybe. Right now. <laughs> oh my god, the most popular song. On Earth for the past six months, uh, I haven't heard a radio in a minute. So it, you're just getting so fucking fired up over this. This is great. Um, I don't know, man. Some little country inspired. Oh no. Yep. No, he did not. Yep. Mm -hmm. What did his voice sound like singing that shit? Hey, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up and just play it into the. Oh mic dang! Oh, you want to pull it up on there? Yeah, Ninja Old Town Road. No, Ninja Masked Singer search. Uh, there should be some like, some like. Oh no 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 sketchy. no! We, we got some right okay. here. Like. That doesn't sound live, does it? Oh, maybe it is. I think it's live, dude. Maybe it is. I think he's singing. But I mean, bro, a little bit of live compression, a little bit of auto tune. You know what I'm saying? They could run that shit through something. They could give him a little help. They definitely do. They give him a little help. Definitely do. Yeah, like he's just dry up there. Oh, damn. I yeah. Damn. Yeah. Shame on you. For, for not believing for in ninja. No, it's not me not believing in ninja. Well, no, I guess I, it's, I guess it's both. It's both. It's He's the best gamer on earth. You think he can't conquer singing? <laughs> you think singing is beyond him? 
Have you seen his fucking 90s in Fortnite, dude? Are you joking me? That fool did it right. He said, fuck this. I'm going to Mixer, sign a huge deal. Now he can say pussy, cum, shit, fuck. And now he just fucking does... Like, he's, and now he does he's network like, shit. He's yeah, just he's like on TV. a career celebrity now. Yeah. It's like, why? He did the best fucking... Did the best. He, did it, he did it right, man. He's got a good agent. He's got a good manager. Did you fuck, have you seen him on Mixer lately? He no. doesn't give a fuck, dude. No? It's great. Really? Yeah. He, there's like some clip of him being like, who am I? I'm fucking... Eh. And he just starts like going off. He's like, these fucking stupid fucking 12 year olds that come on the internet. Like just, wow. Just, just gamer get off my lawn. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's the gamer version of get off my lawn. Yeah. He's a millennial boomer. Yeah. Get off my, get off my Twitter. You dumb pussy. <laughs> Where'd you come from? Yeah. Come yeah, stain. This is my profile. You can't come to my profile. Hey there, fuck stick. I'm trying to do the shitty, uh, Gran Torino voice. What time are we supposed to be? Um, we got a lot of time. We could do this till fucking twelve thirty if we felt you want to go a whole other hour. <laughs> Did she say come early? Yeah, just half hour earlier. Okay. Twelve thirty. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. Listen I'm here, gonna shit stick. Ride until I can no more. I'm I thought gonna he was gonna get up there and just like have crazy R and B vocals. That would be so fucking sick. He just came up if there. If Ninja got up there with just pipes of an angel. Yeah. In those jeans, baby girl, uh-uh. is there more, any more room for me in those jeans? And he just starts like, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, he starts just, he starts grinding. Oh yeah, he's fucking. He's like, they said I'm washed up. <laughs> I gotta show what I'm really about. <laughs> oh baby, grind on me. He's just singing that shit while he's fucking. And then he like. Then he fucking starts a new career as an R and B singer. <laughs> still can't dress for shit. Yeah, yeah. Still wearing that. Oh man, yeah. That fucking Louis V suit. Blue face featuring Ninja got to be the next. Yeah. Something. Yeah. yeah. Ninja rapping, bro. Anyways, y'all. Uh, this episode. I don't know. How'd you feel about this episode? It was a bit. It was a little. If you don't know that sometimes we have episodes like this, you're, <laughs> you're not, not a, a true, true TMG, TMG fan. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Let's get one. Let's get a synced up one. Okay. A good clean goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. goodbye.